Do your edits still look like they've been made on Goofy R CapCut because you don't know how to make this ripple effect? Well, don't worry because today I will show you step by step how you can make it in After Effects. Let's go! For our first basic ripple effect, we want to make sure we have our clip ready. As you can see, I have one from Joe Goldberg. And then we want to go to the top, click on Layer, New, and create a new adjustment layer. We have to cut this to the exact duration of our clip. So I'm going to go to the end and then cut it once by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and D. Delete everything that comes past here. And now we have this short snippet covering our clip. To actually apply our ripple effect, we're going to go to Effects and Presets and search for BBC Ripple Dissolve. Make sure you drag this on top of your adjustment layer. And as you can see, we already get this rippled look. Right now, it will look pretty choppy. So we're going to have to change some settings. First of all, to reduce the size of his forehead, I'm going to put the height from 30 down to 15, which as you can see, will just reduce the warp of the ripple effect. Second thing you might want to change in here is the light color. As you can see right now, we have kind of like a yellowish tint in it. And if you want a different color, you can click on the box right here and then select whatever color you want. In my case, I'm going to go for a nice purple. Press on to OK. And lastly, if you want to speed up the animation, because right now it looks pretty slow, we're going to have to go to animation tuning and then increase the ease out effect. My go to value for smooth edits is 25, which will just make the animation a bit faster at the beginning, as you can see. But for harder edits where you want it to go way faster, I would recommend 45. Don't forget to add your high quality color correction. And now you have this smooth ripple effect. For the second ripple effect, I want to create this nice reverse animation. To do that, we're going to need at least two clips. I picked two from Brian Moser. And like with the other one, the first step is going to be creating a new adjustment layer. So go to the top, click on layer, new, and then select adjustment layer. Once that's done, we want to cut it to the duration of both clips because I want my ripple effect to be reversing on the first and then actually happening on the second one. So I'm going to go to the end of the second clip and cut it right here by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and D. Delete anything that comes past here. And now we should be left with two clips and of course our adjustment layer. The effect is going to stay the same. So go to effects and presets and search for BBC Ripple Dissolve. But this time we want to make sure that in the top under animation, instead of automatic, we select percentage done. What that changes is that instead of just having the ripple play as soon as our adjustment layer starts, we can actually adjust the slider to decide when our animation is supposed to be done. And the way we're going to create this reverse effect is by starting at the very start of our adjustment layer, which also should be the start of our first clip, and then setting a keyframe for this percentage done. We're going to put the value from 50 up to 75, so all of the ripples are out of our screen. Then we're going to press U on our keyboard to preempt this first keyframe and go to the exact point where the clips cut, so where the second one starts playing. Here we're going to put the second keyframe, and this time we want to put the percentage done from 75 down to zero. And then we're going to create one third keyframe at the very end of our adjustment layer when it's supposed to be over again and put this up all the way to 100. What that will do, as you can see, our ripple effect will start off at 75, go down to zero, which creates this reverse effect, and then actually start playing once our second clip appears. The biggest problem is that it looks like it's been made on Goofy R CapCut, and because we changed the animation to percentage done, we cannot change the animation tuning, which means we're going to have to adjust the graphs manually. For that, we're going to select all of the keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant, and then select easy ease. Open up the graph editor, and it should look exactly like this. I'm going to zoom in to make it a bit more clear. And the first thing we want to do is edit our starting animation where the reverse is happening. So I'm going to click onto this handle and drag it to the right like so. Then I'm going to select the bottom handle and drag it straight up. Not all the way, about 50% of the way like this. And for the second graph, we want it to look just a little bit faster than a normal graph would. So we're going to start at the bottom handle, drag it up like this, very close to our white graph line. And for the top handle, we're going to reverse this. So we're going to drag it downwards. Also, again, very close to our white line, but make sure that it's actually not crossing or touching the white line at all. Once that's done, close the graph editor. And for the rest of the settings, we want to use the same thing as before. So put the height from 30 down to 15. Then feel free to change the light color if you want to. And most importantly, don't forget your high quality color correction. If you want to get the exact color correction I use to make my edits look the best as possible, make sure you check the first link in the description because I'm still running a huge sale in my shop. Use the code SUMMER10 for an extra 10% of your order. And if this video helped you, make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what tutorial you want to see next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.